Hello. <clears throat> Welcome again to Mr. Howe's Bores You About Stuff. Today, Mr. Howe's is going to bore you about the religion of Islam. So, a couple of things to get straight. Islam is the religion. A Muslim is the person who follows that religion. So, when you hear Islam, it's talking about the religion. When you hear a Muslim, you're talking about a person who practices Islam. The star and crescent moon is the most common symbol of Islam. You'll see that a lot on the mosques, which is the temp the places where they worship. Um, you'll also see these in a lot of flags of countries that are predominantly uh, Muslim countries. Uh, the Arabic word and all of Islam dates or checks back to Arabic. Uh, that is their the core language of their religion. Translates two ways, surrender and peace, saying surrender to the will of God and the peace that comes with that, you'll surrender. And there's a awkward Facebook post jumping up in the middle of my lecture. Okay, well, we'll just leave this in because this is the most boring YouTube video on earth. All right. So Islam was started by Muhammad. He was born in 570 AD or, you know, BCE, uh, I mean, uh, CE in Mecca, which is in Saudi Arabia. Uh, that's another way of spelling Mecca. We don't really see it that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So understand, Muslim is not God or God's son. He's used the prophet. And um, Islam, after it was around a long time, people became concerned that they were going to worship Muhammad as the God. So... Um, they came up with the idea that we're not going to have any idols, paintings, or anything like that of Muhammad, which is why you'll never see a picture of Muhammad um, through anything that comes through as an Islamic uh, mosque or person. Uh, there's quite a controversy in, in the world when uh, non-Islamic people uh, create a picture of Muhammad uh, because they consider it insulting to their religion. Uh, the Quran is the holy book of islam uh the quran is the word of god much like uh the bible is considered the word of god um and it was revealed to muhammad by the angel gabriel uh, which is there's a lot of tie-ins between christianity and um, islam if you look over here at the book at the quran it's different looking because it's right side up, and here's the cover, but if it was a book in English, it would be upside down. It would be on the back, because we read from left to right, but in, in um, Arabic, you read from right to left. So you open the book this way, and you go the reverse to how we read. So it's just a different way of doing things. One's not right, one's not wrong. Now, in Islam... It's what the, the um, Muslims are supposed to do is based on the five pillars of Islam. The pillars are the central tenets. A tenet is the, the, the rules of a religion, the beliefs that uh, followers must follow to be uh, good faith followers of that religion. So the five pillars are the five tenets of Islam. And the first one is the declaration of faith. It says there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger, all right? So there's no other God, or if you're going to be a good practicer of Islam. Uh, prayer. Uh, in Islam, you pray at five specific, specific times each day, depending on which faction of Islam you're in, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, before sunrise, midday, late afternoon, sunset, and bedtime. And um, this is required. Uh, and typically you'll take out a prayer shawl, a rug, and you'll sit on it and you'll face towards the direction of where Mecca is. Mecca is the holy uh, city of the Islamic religion. And you'll pray in that direction. And, sorry... Um, but now here we get into the differences. There's two branches of um, Islam, Sunni 
and Shiite. Sunni is basically probably, I think is 85% of uh, the Islamic religion. Um, and Shiite is the min minority uh, of the religion. And they follow most of the same things, but not all of them. Um, Shiites play, pray three times a day instead of five. They combine a couple of them. And um, many Iranians who stayed in, in the United States since the 1979 Iran, Iranian Revolution are probably a Shiite. Because in this area here, where you get into Iran, Afghanistan, and Iraq, this is primarily Shiite um, practicers. And all the other areas you see, Turkey and etc., are uh, Sunni. So that's why there's more Sunni than Shiite, because they cover much more areas. But regardless, all Muslims must face Mecca, as I mentioned, when they pray. Um, they can pray together in a mosque, it, but it doesn't matter where you are. You don't have to go in a mosque to pray. You simply take out your prayer rug and you face Mecca and you do your prayers. Um, so the reason there's a split in the Islamic religion is because um, when Muhammad died, the two factions disagreed. Uh, the Shiite believed that it should have gone right to his son-in-law, which was a blood relative, although a son-in-law really isn't a blood relative. I don't want to nitpick. Um, but the Sunni believe that the new leader should be elected and chosen to be the best leader. So that's where they wound up splitting. Um, <clears throat> this was 632 CE. And I find this slideshow I stole to be interesting because in one case they say AD and this time they say CE. But whatever. But they've been two branches since there. So back to the pillars. Compassion, in other words, charity, kindness, you know, be kind or be quiet. Um, Islam teaches that uh, everything we have comes for God, so you should share with those who are in need. Um, so you should give. As far as the percentage, well, it, it, it's also, they say, you know, give if you can. There, It's a reasonable, uh, the religion has these tenets, but they also understand that, well, not everybody can afford to do these things and they're not unrealistic in what they expect um the money is used to help the poor and this came from when the quran was written if you didn't help the poor the poor died and that was all it was so it was about survival as much as anything else um fasting during the holy month of ramadan uh you're not to eat between sunrise and sunset so you fast um, this Ramadan, the highest holy day of, or holy month of the religion, commemorates when Gabriel gave the Quran to Muhammad. So it's a very important holiday to them. Uh, the reason fasting is important is it focuses you on the idea that you should be um, grateful for what you have because other people go without. So you're showing your or demonstrating to yourself what it's like to go out go without things so you can more appreciate what you have and to remind yourself to help out the poor um it's also just practice self-control um islam is a, a discipline based religion as far as people want to do the right thing all the time um so the first four are there's one god it's allah pray five times a day uh give to the needy and fast during Ramadan. The final pillar is the Hajj. The Hajj is, if possible, to make a pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia at least once in your lifetime, if you can afford it and if you're physically able. Again, the reasonableness of the religion says, okay, if it's impossible for you to travel, then you're not a bad uh, Muslim if you don't make a Hajj. If you're extremely poor and you can't afford it, you're not a bad Muslim because you don't go there. Oh, I'm almost done. So let me wrap this up in 29 seconds. All right. So um, when you go, you see it's very crowded, incredible. And inside at Mecca is this tiny room where only certain Muslim leaders are allowed to go. It just has some scrolls. But yeah, there's your five pillars. And that's all we have for today. So thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed being bored by Mr.